become a lot more difficult for contractors to meet um, the required compliance for air voids in reinstatements. Various changes in the regulations and Victor guidelines meant that many contractors were being defected on up to 50% of their reinstatements by the local authorities. This was obviously costing them um, a lot of money. I mean, over the northwest of England, it was running into hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds a year. Supertrains was developed to help contractors on site achieve the compaction that's required by the specifications set out in the Hawke spec. And this is the specification used by the local authorities. Supertrend is a denser mix with a higher binder content, so it increases the durability whilst reducing the air voids on site when laid correctly. The advantages there to a typical contractor are that it makes workability easier and compaction is uh, achieved, well, in a quicker time frame. The response from customers has been great. Um, I think they, they like the material. Um, most of the utility contractors, which is the sector we're, look, we're, we're aiming at here, um, have adopted uh, Super Trench uh, as opposed to using standard um, standard six mil materials for footpaths um, because they have seen a dramatic reduction in their um, voids failures and consequently their compliance now is as high generally as it's ever been. And the Northwest has been very successful. Local contractors coming into our Salford Express plant have found over 90% compliant. Escalon, uh, they're the main contractor with the electricity Northwest. We do all the excavation side from one of the big contracts, XD5 contract, uh, and you know basically all the reinstatement as well. So you know we're more or less in but well, we are in partnership with them, and we've been like that for the last eight years. When we first started off with the Irvoids, the failures percentage-wise, what, what we had uh, was around about 84% failure rate. Uh, when Super Trends came along, along with our other methods we put in place. Uh, we're now at 90, 96, 97% pass rate. We have a positive feedback from all of them. I mean, to be fair, they're all saying we're probably one of the best ones that are complying now with coring, and, and the pass rate is one of the highest in the Northwest. I think it's, it's good, it's been a major, major turnaround in the industry. We've, we've still kept in, inside the specification of the SORH, but we've gone from where we, at the beginning where it was probably towards the middle. We've gone to the top of the range that stay within the specification. So it's, it's been good that we've, you know, we've, we've done that. It's as easy to lay as standard materials. No other special tools or equipment are required. Um, same laying methods. If it's laid correctly, it will help you achieve air voids compliance, um, resulting in fewer defects. Um, and basically, it's, it's as simple as that.